Hi, I'm Pat Goss, co-founder of the Wildcat Golf Academy and head men's golf coach at Northwestern University. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about the grip. Particularly now that it's winter time and we're in full mode in our Wildcat Golf Academy, really diving deep into the kids' fundamentals and making some great improvements, grip is something we really have to hammer on. Now in the summer it's a little bit tougher when kids are playing tournaments, but now is the time we know we can get it right. And I want to reference something I've had to work on a lot with the kids in the Wildcat Golf Academy this winter. First, we're going to start with the left hand. What we want to see in a good left hand grip is that this club really sits in these bottom three fingers. Okay, and you can see it rests right up against this heel pad is on top. You can even see as I take my grip, I can easily take my grip without my thumb or index finger on the club. Here's the easiest way to do this. We stand up tall in good posture. We let our arms just hang naturally. Now all we want to do with our arms hanging naturally is let this club fall into those last three fingers. This will really seat it in the fingers with that heel pad on top. Now what we always want to see if we open the left hand, if I take your grip and we just open it, it's running in this direction across your left hand. It's running from right up here, down this baseline, and into your second finger. That's what we'll see each time. So I stand up tall, I let the club set into my fingers, I can take it up and hold it this way. Now I want to talk to you a lot about the right hand. This is a little trickier for the kids. We're going to do a drill, we do a lot with them. What we do to teach the right hand is this, pinch and trigger, those are the keys. First thing we want to do is we want to pinch our index finger and thumb together. The drill I'll reference a lot with this is a coin. I need you to be able to pinch a coin in between your index finger and the thumb. Then after you pinch, we're going to make a trigger with this index finger, pinch and trigger. You'll see that when we do this, we really formed a nice pad off our lifeline here. Now let's put these two together. Stand up tall, let it sit in the fingers of your left hand. Get it up in front of you. Got my pinch and trigger. Now all I'm going to do is take that pad off the thumb and I'm going to let it fit in there like the piece of a puzzle. It sits right on top just like the piece of a puzzle. Then as I get set up, you can see that coin sits right up on top. Okay, that's a good grip and a good position. Now, the last thing I want to reference with the right hand, you'll hear us all the time, pinch and trigger, pinch and trigger, is that as we take our grip, we get that pinch and trigger, we want to be coming in from the side so that we can apply pressure to the club this direction. That's really important as we get an impact, we want to be able to compress it. What you'll see in that grip, if you do it correctly, is that this area of my thumb is not covered by the grip. I pinch and trigger, sat it right up on top, expose that little bit, and I can apply pressure from the side. The big thing this grip is going to allow you to do that's so important in golf is hinge. And this hinge creates a lot of power. If we get a grip in there correctly, it should be very easy for you, keeping your hands on the club with light grip pressure, to hinge that golf club up and down, mimicking the motion we want in the full swing. This is a sign of a good grip. If you can have that club face stay square as you hinge it up and down, it's going to allow you to hinge, create a lot of power with this angle here coming, hold that power down, apply some pressure from the side. As you get an impact, you'll be able to do a lot better things in your swing, more powerfully, more efficient. Thanks so much.